More officials from the National Transportation Safety Board are arriving on Oahu tonight to begin their investigation into the Boeing 737 cargo plane that made a crash landing in waters off Kailua yesterday. The NTSB's 10 investigators will begin by documenting the scene and examining the plane. Then they'll look at radar data, weather information, air traffic control communication, airplane maintenance records, and the pilot's medical records. The two pilots survived the water landing and are recovering in the hospital, one in critical condition, the other in serious. The Coast Guard tells us there was no hazardous cargo aboard the plane and says the jet fuel and debris on the surface of the ocean are both gone. We have no, uh, we have no reports of any impact to any wildlife, so that's always a, a good sign. Um, like I said, we never want to see any oil products on the water, um, but in this case, uh, short persistence and, you know, really uh, the conditions, which were also pushing it away from the shoreline. So the, between the winds and currents, it was moving southwest away from the shorelines, the south shores of Oahu. Jones adding that the NTSB is in charge of the removal of debris. Now, the NTSB telling us in a statement today, at this early stage of an investigation, NTSB does not state a cause, but will only provide factual information when available. A preliminary report should be out in two weeks, and the investigation is slated to take between 12 and 18 months.